Hello everyone. I'm doing a series of videos about glue book basics. The question I get a lot is what is a glue book? A glue book, my definition of a glue book is some kind of structure, a book, a signature, or a piece of paper that you glue pieces of paper into or onto. Those pieces of paper can be magazine images, they can be ephemera, they can be photographs, they can be any kind of paper. So a glue book, by a traditional glue book, is a blank book or a composition book. Mostly people glue magazine images into a blank book. There are many, many variations, and people have been doing this for a very long time. It's nothing that is new. People have been doing it and call it all kinds of different things. So if you're looking for examples, some different kinds of glue books, some different variations, you can Google a visual journal, a picture book, a collage journal, an image collection, inspiration book, an idea keeper, a scrapbook or a memory keeper. All of those are kinds of glue books. Glue book is a collage of images. It is exactly the same thing as a collage. Most people call this kind of thing a glue book because they mostly use magazine images. The definition is really not important. Um, you can call your project whatever you want to call it. You can define your project any way that you want to define it. You can add as many different kinds of paper, ephemera, and that kind of thing as you want. Or you can keep it really simple and just use magazine images. It's up to you. Every person has their own ideas of what they want to use in their project. And all of those ideas and all of those definitions are perfectly fine. They are wonderful. So I'm doing a series of videos all about glue books, the basic information for glue books. The series will include different structures that you can use. And when I mean structure, like this one is a blank book. I did have to take pages out of this book um, to make room for all the images that I glued into it. A structure can be, I like to work in signatures. I will describe signatures, junk journal, a Rolodex, a piece of paper, all kinds of different things that you can use for a glue book. I will discuss finding images and ephemera, what kinds of things you can use, give you some ideas of things to look out for, start collecting things. I'll give you some ideas for storing and organizing your images so you can find them again. I'm going to go through how I put together my glue book pages and what kind of glue I use and how I arrange things and that kind of thing. I'm going to go through preparing a blank book or a novel or some kind of hardbound book, preparing the pages, taking pages out for a glue book process. And I'm also going to show a bunch of examples, some variations of some of the glue books that I have started. And I probably have about 25 different glue books started, different variations, different kinds of structures and different things that I've put into them, and different themes. Glue books can be completely random, and that is a very simple way to begin the glue book journey. They can have themes. 
uh, all kinds of different themes. You can collect images, uh, all kinds of elephants for a single page, or all kinds of different themes. These pages can be planned out, they can be random, they can be anything. There are so many different ways to do a glue book. And I'm really excited about sharing all the things that I've learned and, and my process of, of doing these glue books. Glue books are a really simple way to start to learn how to collage, how to put things together to um, fit your style, to fit your tastes, and to use up some of the images and ephemera that you have saved and just don't know what to do with. So glue books are really, really easy. They are really fun. They're, they don't take very much in supplies. So, you know, all you need is a structure, some images, some things to glue, some pieces of paper to glue into it. And I use a glue stick, but you can use any kind of glue that you want to use. So they are really easy to take on trips because you're not taking a whole lot of stuff with you. They're easy to move around the house during the day. You can sit and watch TV while you're doing just gluing images into your glue book. It's a lot of fun to start collecting images as well. So this is just the introduction. And I will, next video will be different kinds of structures to use. Um, I don't know how many parts this will be, but I just want to get some basic information out there so that you guys can start doing some glue books and have some fun. So I hope you join me in the glue book adventure. It's really easy. Thanks for watching.